Have you ever gotten mad? Have you ever wanted something and you couldn't have it and you got really, really upset and you didn't know what you were going to do and all of a sudden you had lost your temper and then you figured out how to feel better? That's what happens with our friend Marvin here. Marvin really wants an apple, but he can't have it. And then he gets mad. And we're going to find out what happens when Marvin gets mad by Joseph Theobald. One perfect morning, Marvin and Molly found a tree full of big, juicy apples. There was one apple that Marvin really wanted, but no matter how high he jumped, he couldn't quite reach it. Maybe it will fall off, thought Marvin. He waited and waited and waited, but the apple did not fall. Eventually, Marvin fell asleep. When Marvin woke up, the apple was gone. Molly was eating it. I wanted that apple, shouted Marvin. Sorry, said Molly. I didn't know. Marvin was not happy. Don't get mad with me, said Molly. There are lots more apples in that tree. I wanted that apple, shouted Marvin, and you've eaten it. Marvin was so mad. He grew mad teeth, mad horns, mad feet, and a mad tail. I want my apple. Calm down, said Molly. No, shouted Marvin, and he stamped on the flowers. He knocked over the chicken shed. He frightened the ducks, and he bit a cow's tail. Marvin didn't know what he wanted anymore. He stamped his big mad feet, and he let out a big mad baa. As Marvin stamped harder and harder, the ground beneath him began to rumble underneath him and suddenly, crack! The ground opened up and swallowed him whole. Marvin fell deeper and deeper and landed with a thud alone in the dark. Bah! shouted Marvin, but no one could hear him. He tried to break the wall, but that only hurt his head. Marvin was all alone. He closed his eyes and remembered the perfect day in the meadow. I wish Molly was here, he thought. Gradually, Marvin felt less mad. When Marvin opened his eyes, there was Molly. I'm so sorry I was angry, said Marvin. That's okay, said Molly. I came to find you. I thought you might be lost. And look, I found another big juicy apple. It's for you. Thank you, said Marvin. And Molly showed Marvin the way back up to the meadow. Everything was perfect again. But Marvin didn't want an apple anymore. He wanted a pear. But no matter how high he jumped, he couldn't quite reach it. It's okay to be mad sometimes. It's okay to be frustrated sometimes. It's even okay to lose our temper sometimes. As long as we can take a deep breath and figure out what makes us feel better. And if we hurt somebody's feelings, we apologize for it along the way. Never want to miss another video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to read it again this chapter.